Well, hello guys, and welcome back to yet another episode of Amnesia The Dark Descent. Uh, I'm just going to set up my timer because I forgot to do that. Yeah, I'm pretty stupid sometimes, but... Uh, right, it's set up. Uh, yeah, let's continue playing, I guess. Uh, last episode we checked out, well, what was behind all the doors in the really huge fucking room, and now we're going... Well, we're certainly not going into the wine cellar, apparently. Um, over there was the laboratory. Oh, oh, and I found out how you can, well, rotate stuff. Apparently you pick up something and then you press R and then you can rotate it. So I'm just going to try that, try that now. Um, R. Oh, look, look, look. Oh, oh, it's pretty trippy, but it works, I guess. Ta-da! Just like new. Yep. Yeah. Okay, uh, well, let's continue. Uh, let's check out the archives, I think it was called. The room at the top. Uh, on top of um, the second floor. Let's try that room first, I guess. Oh. Oh yeah, that door was blocked, so this was... Yeah, archives. Let's check out archives. Um, somehow I don't really like the sound of the word archives in a game like this, but on the other hand, I also don't really like the word laboratory in a game like this. I don't think I really like any word in a game like this. Oh, this really doesn't look nice. Okay, I'm going to check out the laboratory first, I guess. <laughs> Uh, 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 right, 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 right. Because the archives really look pretty scary, and yeah. Um, slight headache. Oh, uh, that's good enough for me. It's good enough for me. Ooh, I do parkour, motherfucker. Yeah, let's go into the laboratory. A stone slab looked like a safety measure. It wasn't meant to be moved ever again. <laughs> Anyone wanna bet that it moved? I bet that it moved. I have to say the archives look more reassuring than this, but yeah. Um yeah. I just like this. Um the archives really, really, really looked more reassuring than this room, but... Oh, oh it's all... Are those, like, howling stones? I want a howling stone, it's better than my current pet rock. I'm going to take you with me, you sweet motherfucker. No! Well, screw you. Uh. Oh, that's pretty cool. I should do it more often, like just pick up stuff and throw it into a random direction and then... Wait, wait. Pfft. Hmm, I hope that made me, like, win the game already, but... It gets that... It doesn't always work. Oh, there's oil over there. Give me the oil. Right. Now at least I've got a shitload of oil so I can use my lantern for a long while. What's in here? There's a chest with tinder. Oh, there's more tinder. There's nothing behind. Nope, nothing behind all this stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, let's go. Oh, this looks nice. Okay, but I don't really like the sounds that are coming out of that hole. Oh, I don't really like the sounds that are coming out of this hole. Oh, so funny. Yeah, the lack of chimney probably went the fumes from but recent experiments taking the stone made it Uh, I shall do what I can move. Oh, mementos. Chemical ingredients have been moved from the laboratory to the wine cellar. Yeah, but the wine cellar was closed. You fucking retard. So first we have to find a way to, well, 
enter the wine cellar. Oh, flashback. There should be more cooperite. There should be more cooperite. Well, maybe there isn't there. Eh? Fuck you, Alexander. Let me see. Let me see. And one part aquafortis. Tinder. And one part aquafortis as well. Chemistry pot. Your face is a chemistry pot. Oh dear god, that's a lot of stuff to read. Uh, Our Gilliman and Orpment and Cooperite. The same set of aqua, for aqua Regia. Those are four ingredients that we. Oh, unsuccessful. Oh, unsuccessful, right. Um, Tidings again, tissue, very especially. Oh, but reading this is probably good to. Well. Get that tissue gone. Evidence in laboratory revealed that combining four chemicals could create. Yeah, you probably need to use that acid to remove that. Well, stuff that was blocking us. That red, slimy, fleshy, meaty stuff. Ooh, what's this? One day I will turn. Okay. Well, guess I wanna some issues. <laughs> Sucks to be that person. Slight headache. Okay. Uh, whoa, my oil levels are dropping really, really quickly. So I guess I should just get the hell out of here because before my lantern runs out. Entrance hall. The sand gave way to his tired body as he fell from the camel's back. He felt wind gently sweep across his face and his dry, crusted lips. Okay, let's go. Um, oh wait, we can't un Oh! The key for the wine cellar is probably... Probably... Uh, probably in the archives. I heard a Oh! There's a sign over there. Well, that's a useful sign. Dipshit. Damn it. Uh, yeah, let's go. Tabularium. Let's go into the archives. I love archives. Especially when they're filled with monsters who are out there to just kill me and rip out my intestines and eat them and then. Ugh. Nope, I don't really like archives. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading tomorrow. I shall lead the men into the structure, hoping to. Okay! Yeah, sounds really interesting, but not really helpful. Uh, well, when it comes to needing it to complete the game. Well, oh, I think I should turn off my lantern for a bit because I'm just buckling you. Oh, wasting oil. Hello there, little boy. What's your name? My name? I don't have a name. Uh, that's fine with me, I guess. If you don't have a name, I can just put you in there. No, no, leave me out. No. You stay the fuck in there. Mm, it's a book. Here, I give you something to read. Let me out, let me out! No, I'm just going to give you a book. No! Yes! Uh. Oh, the book's still in the Oh, that's, that's another book. Okay, well, bye. Bye, no, let me out! No! Uh, yeah, okay. Get a lucky. Oh, this room seems really safe. Seems just as safe as standing on one finger at the edge of a volcano. Active volcano. I guess some people would say that it isn't really safe, but. Yeah. Um, oh, more tin there. That's good. I love tin there. Well, I don't really use it a lot, but I guess tinder is better than nothing. It's over here. nothing useful over here. Nope. Um, another room. Uh, what's in this? Hmm. Right. Um. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Nope. 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 Nothing useful in here. 
another note, and Storm was right in front of the ground for some minutes. Remember, superstition fearful, they're okay, loudly, and felt the strange language. The ending to me was strange, the slip and broke step, yeah. Doesn't sound really useful either. I mean, if you want to read it, you can just pause the game and, well, pause the video and then read it, but I know part of the story already, so I don't really give a crap about what's in the notes. Ooh, nice dust. But haha. <laughs> but like there was also some stuff. Oh, god damn it! I keep doing that. Had a spawning and shake him. Oh yes. Use a lantern for a bit then. But like, there's also a room over here. I don't know which. This is one big fucking room. I'll just check out the small rooms first, because I don't trust. I don't trust anything in this game. But I really don't trust big rooms. Those big rooms are, well, big and probably pretty prone for monster. What the? Right. Whatever. I'll just keep looking around this place. Oh, I hear a piano. It's a piano! It's not Alexander from Bannenberg, it's just Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart in here. Now it probably isn't, but would be nice. You're like, hey, are you Alexander Benberg? No, I'm Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Aha, that explains a lot. No, it doesn't. Uh, the door leading to the local history room is locked. Is there another entrance? Well, there probably is. Or we need to break open the door somehow, but there will be another entrance. Um, yeah, oh, oh. Okay, now I heard something groan, and that made me uh, stick to the walls at least they can't attack me from behind because if there's one thing that scares the shit out of me is the monster attacking me from behind <laughs> oh that would be so sucky if suddenly like I died just because I got attacked from behind and I didn't see it coming and then I was like ah oh, no yeah that would suck. I'm going to take this rock with me because it's going to... Well... Nope. That is some strong glass in there. That really is some strong glass in there. Oof. Holy shit. Oh, nice. Die! Oh, more oil. And a piano. Let's open this. Let's play some piano. Oh, we can't. Daniel isn't that musical, I guess. Um, hello, please open yourself. Thank you, thank you very much. It's a tabulae. Holy fucking. I had his pounding hands and shaking. Well, I can't imagine that. Imagine this happening to you in real life, man. I mean, who won't be, like. Damn scared. Um. I don't really trust the room, but I guess I'll just have to search through it. And I know that there's a note on the table, but I want to check out all the drawers and stuff first. Damn it! Open! Oh! Well, that's a powerful note. I guess. Well, oh! It's a cutscene. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized. No way to skip this. Okay. I was trapped. I fell to the ground. Gasping for air. Trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint oh. blue. Go towards the light, Daniel. Go towards the light. But I managed to push No, don't. Yes, do it. No. Yes, no. Yes. Okay, I will do it. I'll go towards the light. Grab the light, Daniel. You can do it. You can do it, mate. Yeah. Woo! I've got the lights! Yay! The glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing then he was using some great drugs in his life, it seems. I mean, wow. The voices of the animals. It's pretty, pretty trippy. Firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. 
floor plans. Well, that's a bit longer in Latin than it is in English. Floor plans. And oh, I've already forgotten what it said in Latin, but it was a whole load longer. Tinder, Tinder, some stuff, and enough stuff with all the flashbacks, man. I mean, it's like, ha, I can walk two steps, ha, bomb, flashback right to your face, you bitch. And after a while, it gets a bit annoying. Oh well, I can still walk around luckily in this one, so I can at least just lose the fuck out of this room before the flashback is over. It's like a race against the clock. Loot the fuck out of the room before the flashback ends. Okay, well I've done that. And I see a hole in this wall. Oh! Fragile but not breakable by hand, but I just broke it with my hand. I'm fucking awesome. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just end the episode over, well, right here, because I've just done something superhuman and we've already been going on for almost, well, probably already 16 minutes, because my timer is behind a bit, so, yeah, I guess this will be the end of this episode, and, well, uh, see you in the next episode.